Got him shook. All right, chat. Now that it's confirmed that now that it's confirmed that two K basically gonna be the same game next year, right? Like so for it build the my player builder, you know what I'm saying, gonna be the same. I feel like I want to take a second, right? Cause there's there's a couple things like I want to change about my building I got now. Like I feel like I got way too many shooting badges. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I got way too many shooting badges to to do like what I'm trying to accomplish. So I feel like if I let me just make this again. Let me just make this again. I feel like if I dial it back just a smidge, it, right? Like I'm still gonna be six six small four, right? One hundred eighty pounds. Here's the thing, right? A seven two wingspan. A seven two wingspan. I feel like it helped me out dramatically on uh playing defense, like defending jump shots, right? Like the room I can give up and cl close out. Yeah, it's confirmed already. It's confirmed already. As of I think it was yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Padrica, what up, bro? What up, man? So now that, that confirmed that basically it's gonna be the same on next gen. That I feel like I need to make changes to my player, right? Like my original player, my original player had 24 shooting badges. What up, Kyle? Shout out to everybody stream, man. Make sure y'all like up for me. Um, I feel like ain't. Let me know if it makes sense, y'all. My wingspan because it was so short, right? So far as letting people, giving them distance and thinking they open to close out time. You know what I'm saying? I felt like that was something I struggled with because my wingspan was so short. So if I get the player right now, if I get the player right now, at the beginning of next year, I can just jump out the gate. Bow, right here. This is the player I'm going to make. So the builder is going to be the same. Yeah, the builder going to be the same. You know what I'm saying? I think they said the Cavs were going to be different, right? Like, you can't have players with high shooting, driving, defense, and playmaking. Okay, so somebody DM'd me and said the build was going to be the same. But it was just going to be capped differently. So far as, like, baseball browser is saying. So, but it's still going to look like this. It's still going to look like this. I thought it was more with the uh, body settings and the physical type that they said was there's going to be a change. But I didn't see nothing. Somebody else told me. Somebody else told me, and dude ain't never been wrong. He kind of sent me stuff, like Ronnie said, this, 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 and he'll kind of tell me what's going on. He reliable, so. Man, stay away from them dots. Talk that talk, King. I agree. I got to see only eight shooting badges, 82-3 ball, and I shoot lights out. You really don't need that many shooting badges. Right. The guy, thank you. Finally, you're here. Tuh, here I am. Uh, you looking for me? Here I go. Hey, y'all, one second. Shout out to my boy, B.O.G. He coming back to streaming. Can y'all do me a favor? Follow dude up. Show dude some love. You know what I'm saying? He was doing this streaming thing when 2K was at its most toxic peak. And I want to welcome him back to the community the right way. So show, make sure y'all follow my dude up. Show some love, man. Big BOG. Welcome back, GOAT. All right. Um, back to this. So, with that being said, I want to have a longer wingspan. I see you doing something safe today, bro. That's because you don't want to see me out in that park score. That's because you don't want to see me out there. I do you the same way. I do you the same way. Uh, Simba, did you score? This ain't what you want. All right, back to this. Uh, so look, six six height, seven two wingspan. I abandoned my six three play shot when I got to next gen. Seems like everybody had a six six or a better scoring machine. I was a liability on defense, right? I had like a guard too that I had to abandon. But he wasn't six three, but I had to, I had to do something better. He just wasn't where I needed him to be. Can we just say he just wasn't where I needed him to be? So this is this is my body setting. Six six, one hundred eight, seven two wingspan. Boom. That's just that's just gonna be that, right? Now through my gameplay, right? I discovered you only need four finishing badges, right? You only need four finishing badges. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my four finishing badges. 
I'm gonna take my four finishing badges. And this is because I wanna get Heat Seeker Hall of Fame. I wanna get Heat Seeker Hall of Fame. So when um I am running the ball, I'm trying to get my takeover. I can do that. Now here's the thing. On God, you only need uh you only need four to six finishing. The goat the goat said it himself. The goat said it himself. Daydream Davis said it himself. So just four, boom, boom, that's that. That's over. Not a not a her over. And this is most important. I call this teetering, right? You see how I got how I got four? You gotta take this all the way back. You gotta take this all the way down until it goes back. So it go back to three, put it back up to four. That's called teetering. I I, I called that that. It's called teetering. Got you named that, right? Of course your three you're gonna put all the way up, right? Mid range you're gonna put all the way up. And really I'm gonna put this to kind of where I think I should be at. I think I'm gonna put like fifteen shooting badges, right, y'all? But we'll kind of see. We'll just kind of see how this go. 15 shooting badges. Here's one thing I felt like I wanted this year. Why are you making a new build? Because the build system is going to be the same. Next year, if I make the right build now, I'll know exactly what I want at the beginning of next year. Something I didn't have this year, y'all. I want Hall of Fame. I want Hall of Fame bullet passer. So I'm giving, I'm giving myself that off the rip. All the real, I'm taking Hall of Fame Bullet Fat Passion, right? Copy, copy. Good morning, got it. Good morning, good morning. So, 80, 84 passing action off the rip, right? Your ball handling, you only needed 81. But I don't carry slide. I don't carry slide. So, I really don't need that. You know what I'm saying? So, ball handling 81, and then I give myself speed with ball. Really, I just kind of fill that up. Hey, Ben Gotti, yeah, somebody said they missed him, so I wanted to bring him back. You know what I'm saying? I want to bring them back. I be hearing my female audience, you know what I'm saying? She want that dude, so that dude had to come back. Say, I'm going to make a good a good pop for it so I can run with you. Say, less. But really, you should make a good small for it. This point is because we don't know what the meta is going to be like. I highly doubt contact duns are going to be OP again. Okay, okay. Uh, Sean, I'm never like me, John Gotti. If you watch my stream, bro, you never see me make a meta. No matter what game I play, I never go with, this is what we all doing. I never do that. So, I make my players geared to how I play. You know what I'm saying? So, this is more what I'm doing. It's not what about, like, but you make this easiest build over here, and you're going to be able to play easy and do all that. No, 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 no. I'm doing what I feel like I need to do to be the best player I can be, right? So, that's really what I do. Um, now, here's the thing. We underestimate defense, right? We really underestimate defense. We going steals all the way. We taking we we going we going steals all the way, right? But we taking down to make sure we just get Hall of Fame clamps. All you want from me is the Hall of Fame clamps. How you can get perimeter defense? Gotta be like 90, 94. Everyone get a six seven. What you mean? Everyone got a six seven. What you mean? I'm saying it don't matter if if your it doesn't matter if they doing this or they doing this. I I I don't move like that. You know what I'm saying? I make my players to fit my games now. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, I'm shoot heavy. Like, if you look at me, chances are I can have a lane. I'm still gonna jack up a shot. So I make my players more towards my my players that. No matter if they say you can put dunks on 93, you can put dunking on 95 and get contact dunks and dunk all game long. That's not my game, so I wouldn't do that. I, I guess that's, that's the best way to kind of say that. All right, back to this. You're going to max out you gonna max out dunking, I and mean, you're going to max out defense rebound, and you're going to max out blocking. Because you got to get intimidated, right? You got to get intimidated, right? So that gives it 17, 17 badges. I hope there is a real skill gap, man. Got bums thinking they are good. You know what? It's not even about the skill gap. It's not about the skill gap, I believe. I believe it's about you being able to do what you want to do and how you want to do it. I don't care what they doing. I don't care if this skill gap, there's no skill gap in it. These boys think they good, but because I can come out and run my game and play my game, they can't fuck with me. And this is what I mean. Like when people play the game, they don't play the game to make themselves better or they don't play the game in, in, in their wheelhouse. If I'm a shooter, I don't need all that finishing, bro. If, if, if I'm concerned about dunking, I don't need all that shooting. I'm going to stay in my wheelhouse. So it don't matter what the fuck they doing over here, they can't fuck with me. Long story short. <laughs> Long story short. There a skill gap in next gen? No, not not right now. 
I didn't think there was a skill gap at all this year. I felt like there was. I felt like they got it. They gave us a game because next year they needed something. They wanted the look. They wanted the visuals to be on point, and they made the visuals look well. I felt that's why I felt. Like. I don't feel like there's no real skill gap because everybody can do everything. Little Billy Joe can jump in the game right now and go crazy. You know, he can go crazy. He can do that because like shooting wise and all that, like. There really, there really was. In the beginning game, there was. There, there's not no more. So, back. Let me finish this up. I feel like. I feel like between four finishing. You only need four finishing. Yeah. What up, block? I feel like before four finishing. Badges, fifteen shooting, twenty-one playmaking. Twenty-one playmaking is my preference. 21 playmaker is my preference because I like to run um, Special Delivery Hall of Fame. Like when I'm kind of just grinding for rep and just having fun, I like to run Special Delivery Hall of Fame. So I feel like this right here, this may be the best build. It is a small forward for me going into next year. You know what I'm saying? Off the rip, I feel like this may be the best build for me going into next year. Why? For finishing, that's he Seeker Hall of Fame. So now I can get my takeover faster. My shooting, I may build, say you can't shoot though. Tyreek, pull up so I can show you. Or Torek, pull up so I can show you how well I can shoot. Uh, you know what I can show you better than I can tell you. And really, I'm just going to go all spot up. I'm going to go spot up in limitless range shooting. You know, with everything else. I hope, I hope they fix, I hope they really fix the, um, play making shot creator. Boom, that's not bad. RJ, so, I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play here, but I'm going to compare this build with the build I made now with all the shooting. All right, so I'm just, I just want you to see what, what my bad setup in my head, and y'all let me know if that's a good bad setup. I can't. John Gotti can't shoot. <laughs> John Gotti can't shoot. Picture that. I put it up on 99 because there's certain badges uh, you can get when you are uh, like 98 and 99. You know what I'm saying? So, for instance, um... Paint Defender, I can get that Hall of Fame when I'm like 99. Where you from, my boy? Your accent a little funny. I ain't got no dang accent. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I don't know why I said I really said that funny. St. Louis, Missouri, uh, Jimbo. Welcome to the stream, bro. That person is definitely your twin. Shout out to 2K for that. So with only 15 shooting badges, what would be the key shooting badges you would use? Okay, bet. I'm going to have you ask, Rudy. Now, look, this is for John Gotti, right? I know my jump shot pretty well. I've been using it all this year. I'll probably make it again next year. I do play around with different jump shots. Uh, just trying to find different jump shot windows. Bigger jump shot windows, right? So, but for me, John Gotti, the bad. So, one thing I did, and you should do this too. I made a build with 30 shooting badges. And I put everything bronze. I put everything bronze to see what popped up the most. You know what I'm saying? To see what popped up the most. What, my style, what fits my style when I'm playing. That's what I did to determine, okay, this is what I need. And then from those badges that popped up the most, from those badges that popped up the most, I made those higher opposed from ones that didn't pop up the least. Com I, it's just common sense, right? So I did put time into this method. And you know what I'm saying? Hopefully there's someplace I can start. So, for me, these were the most influential badges. But for my setup, high starter, you know what I'm saying? Because getting your takeover quicker is a thing. You know what I'm saying? High zone hunter helped out tremendously. And then deep threes. And then deep threes. Everything else, bronze, catch and shoot, I'm on ball. I don't catch and shoot a lot. But when it comes to it, you want that extra oomph, right? You want that extra help. Boom. High zone hunter is. So I thought certain badges didn't need to pop up for it to work. Nah, nah, nah. That badge is not working if you don't if you don't see it pop up, bro. If you don't see that badge pop up, it's not working. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's inaccurate. Um so this this was the best setup for me. High zone hunter influential. Like Every shot you take is a hot zone hunter shot. Every shot you take is a hot zone hunter shot. If it's in your hot zone, right? 
But that's something you control. So that is the most important badge. High zone hunter. You only need those three badges really. High zone hunter, high shot, and deep threes. Any anything else you can already do with a high shooting rate. What he said. That that part. Gracie voice. That part. <laughs> so Hall of Fame high shot. Take over faster. High zone hunter automatically gonna boost your shot. You know what I'm saying? Deep range three, of course. I only get that on gold, but everything else browns. You don't need a lot of help. Stopping by, you don't need a lot of help. Catching you, you don't need a lot of help. Corner spells. All right, I got like an 88-3. And then a uh, clutch shot. Just a little bit if I got a, if I fumble the rock, uh, game winning shot. Maybe a little something can help your boy. All right? Now, here. Now, listen. The way I play playmaking, right? Put those to your defense to make you more of a two-way. Nah, I'm, I, got enough, I got enough defense. I'm going to show you why I got enough defense. Playmaking right, wise, right? I wanted Bullet Passer uh, Hall of Fame, and that's because uh, there's – I don't know if nobody else has this, but when you got Bullet Passer Hall of Fame, the ball goes to where it goes. Like, you don't get, like, those Tim Tebow-type passes, bro. The ball gets to where it's going. And um, I like to run in the combination with special delivery. And you need – you like, you need ankle breaker. If you're going to have the ball in your hand, you need ankle breaker. Nah, you thought seven eight badges was enough, and we both know it it wasn't. Dog, no, nah, I ain't no way. Wait, come on, defense, offense. Cause I got I got plenty, I got plenty. But back to this real quick. Okay, so like I have it on Hall of Fame bet. Okay, so you know you know there's a big difference. Even from gold to Hall of Fame bullet passer, there is a difference. Your passes get picked off less with bullet passer. Yeah, oh uh, defense. Oh yeah, no, you're right. Cal is right. Seven to eight defensive badges is not enough. Not enough at all. Hey, chat, y'all make sure y'all like up for me. So, out of here. Let, let's talk important badges real fast. If I go to anything else. Must have badges. Playmaking. This is a must have. Must have. So, you need bullet pass or at least go. At least. I need a jump shot for a small forward. Check out my jump shot video, bro. So, I want to have bullet pass Hall of Fame. Boom, we got Hall of Fame. Most important. Off the rip. Most important. After that, most important badge, you need bail out at least silver. At least silver. If you like I play like guard. I play like guard type of type of you know I got I I have the ball on me. But you need bail out. Cause you never know the situation, bro. Let's run. I'm gonna lead three. Let's run it up, bro. Uh you, oh, no, no problem, bro. SMH Mark, notify the stream and send me a free request. So for 2K20, 2K20, uh no for 2K20, bro. 2K21, I'm talking about my boy. Quick first step. You need quick first step as high as it can go. That jab step by itself is enough to make a defender like day go days. So you need quick first step. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so City Gaming, my boy in the building. So from there, unpluckable is is how much. It, it kind of goes to you, bro. How much dribbling do you do? How much do you have the ball in your hands, right? I'm very ball dominant. But even with that being said, bro, I only need it on silver. And then I need that on gold, high as it can go. And just say for the rest of the video, kind of speed it up. Um, Let's go handle for days. Hall of Fame, so I won't lose a lot of energy. And then let's go Space Creator. Is if I was playing against comp people, is how I would run it. Cause first of all, Dimer, Dimer, and Floor General, that throw off their that, that throw off their shot timing. The people you playing with, it really don't help them. It throw off their shot timing. And let's be honest, I'm just gonna, I'm just a real dude, so I'm gonna say it. It's not up to me to make your 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 shot higher. You knew when you made that bill that your three was an 81. It's not up to me to waste my badges and make your three higher. So I'm not going to do it. Flat out, I'm not going to do it. If you can't shoot, hold the corner and hit press X, pass me the ball, my boy. Let me work. So I'm just being honest with you. That's what I think anyway. That's just my philosophy. So boom. So you'll never see Dime or Floor General. Uh, they're, they're not impactful enough, and it make them shoot worse. Like, can you imagine you spending four badges, eight badges? No, no. Really, check me out real fast. I'm gonna spin. I'm gonna I'm gonna spin my badges. Floor general, gold, dimer, dimer, gold. Right? That's six badges I spent. And then the motherfucker missed the shot anyway. Oh no, my boy. 
Oh no, my boy. So, guards, guards, your badges are for you, not nobody else. Let's emb let's let's abolish that right now. My badges are for me, not for you. If I'm gonna get diamond and floor general, you gonna miss a shot anyway. Fuck that. I'm good. Okay, boom, that's done. So I would never go there. John Gotti would never go there. And this is for next year because if you know what you're gonna do next year, you better off. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't guessing. So boom, don't even worry about that shit. That's on them. Make your shots. I get you a shot. It's your job to make it, brother. Stay in your wheelhouse. So boom, like I said, we gonna go. We gonna go. A bell out, at least gold. And then I'm a gold space creator. Really an influential badge in uh, stop and go to. Everybody miss shots? Right. Everybody do miss shots. But you ain't going to miss shots if I'm donating six badges on top of whatever 10, 15 badges you got. No, my boy. You know what you're doing. You made that bill. Okay, so these are the playmaking. Most important playmaking badges, in my opinion, bullet passer as high as it can go. Quick first step, as high as it can go. Those are the most important badges here. And from there, just how you play with your guys and whatever you need. Baga, baga, baga. Angle breaker works, though. Angle breaker does work. So, defense and rebound. Chat, like, say, say you a small forward. Yes, it's a small forward. Uh, Browser just said, I was one of the main people said, bro, you don't need all those defensive badges. You need between six and seven. That is a mother in lie. That is a mother freaking lie. The magic number on defense, chat. The magic number is, my opinion, 15 and up. 15 and up. And I say that because rim protector, it really does work, right? Intimidator, you need it. Ankle brace, you are still going to get cooked. No matter what you do, ankle brace. But you want that mug uh, at least on gold to give yourself a chance, right? You need like 20, uh, 15 and up, 15 and up. It just depends, 15 and up. And clams on gold, clams on gold. Now nah, you only had six or seven on defense this year. That's, that's why I said you need more. You know what, my small forward, my small forward, I had 16. But on my guard, I had like six or seven. So that's what I'm saying. Don't Y'all don't do what I did, you know what I'm saying? My bill only had 20 and up, uh, mandatory. There you go. I had, I had needed a big man. I, w I wouldn't go exactly big man. I would go small forward because you still got the scoring power. So if you're saying that if you're saying there's no skill gap in next gen, you lose the bums. You do. You do. And bums will make, like, the stupidest, luckiest shots. And not because they're skilled. just because oh, everybody can do this. All right. So listen. These are the most important badges. Without clamps, you will slide. Without intimidator, they will get BS shots with you right in front of them. Why you why you want a small forward build? Because small forward, they get the speed, they get the defense, and they get the scoring. I don't lose the bums. Well, you ain't played enough 2K, bro. If you play so much 2K, you run the games where you can realize, look, they ain't got IQ. But they're making just shots they shouldn't make. I, I, I posted videos. I posted videos on my stream of contested shots where dude is going to dunk, dude is contesting. The ball hit off the rim and went in. Or it's dunks where they going up. You can test it and it roll all around and go in. I, I, I posted the videos so I can see that. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's 2K for you. But right here, these are the most important badges before you get anything else. Before you get to anything else, these are the most important badges. And you really want them to look like this. You want them to be gold. Clams gold. Intimidated gold. And I say gold over, over uh, Hall of Fame because there's no difference. Still is important. No, it's not. Still is not important. Uh, you can get bump steals on here. And really, if you play positioning well, you don't need it. Power, thank for that, thank for that raid, bro. Appreciate that. So, with that being said, now from here is how you play. From here, because you got the necessities, then you got, listen, this is what I do. A badge that uh, TJ put me on that works well, rebound chaser. Rebound chaser. On bronze, chat. On bronze. Works really well. It works really well just on Brian. This is just for me. Even when, like, the ball, little loose ball situations, it works. And when you box it out, everybody, it works. You know what I'm saying? So, rebound chaser, at least bronze. All ball pets, all ball pets, at least bronze. So, for all those animations where they jump over your head or, uh, or, or, 
They they blow by you. They can't get that. All ball pass. It it it, it prevents them. You know what I'm saying? From doing it. And then from her, really, from her yard, depending on the way you play, depending on the way you play, and something I started to run recently was, uh, you know what, I take that back? I've been running Hot Stopper. I've been running Hot Stopper. And it's been working really well. It's been working really well. Almost like a Hot Start or a Hot, hot Shot or a Heat Seeker, it's been working really well. Chase Down, you don't need Chase Down. You don't chase down. You don't need chase down because you will get the animation change. You will get the animation change just by being there, bird. So you don't need it, bro. And matter of fact, you probably need room protection. Just don't go to. So this what I, this is how I run it. This is how I run it right here. But I got a decent block like in the eighties. I think mine's is eighties too. I think mine's is seventy. Power forward don't need playmaking. No. It depends on who you play with. Take it down one. Take what down one, Tyler? I I think right here this is this is perfect right here. At be at the beginning of the game, y'all is you working on your takeover your takeover quick, right? So you get the quicker you get your takeover, the quicker you get your takeover, the quicker you can be effective and kind of take the, uh, really just take the game over, right? So you want your badge to pretty much look like this, and that's your defense. I stop her. No, you did that thing. Put that thing Hall of Fame, my boy. Put that thing Hall of Fame, bro. We're going to let that take over. So, my opinion, I feel like for 2K22, out the gate, small forward, I think this is going to be a really good build right here. I think this is going to be a really good build right here. I'm a 6-7 power forward with like 20 playmaking LL, be cooking. There you go. But it depends on who else you play with, what they do and what they got going on. And we something else I want to tell y'all too. 2K, 2K22, bro. 2K22 is the most, well, 2K itself. NBA 2K is the most sociable game. You know what I'm saying? And don't be afraid to meet people, find people to play with, and get some fucking dubs, man. So I feel like this is going to be the best build. I feel like this is going to be the best build. I'm not going to play, but really, I'm going um, to develop this build. Like, I got like 70 something VC. I got like 70 something VC and really I'm gonna develop this. How high is my three? I think my three is like 89 or something, 88 or something like that. Devontae. I can't I can't go back. I'm gonna have to go in. I'm gonna have to go in and quit. I'm, I'm gonna go in and quit and make this dude. But remember, remember, it goes up. Remember, you gotta remember. A lot of stuff y'all it go up the higher your rating is. I'm gonna screenshot that cuz You know what I'm saying? So right now you do 90 overall, right? You gotta remember you get boost. That's that's five hundred points, right? On the boost. So all of a sudden that eight ninety eight, I mean eighty nine, I mean eighty eight, now it's a ninety three. Off the rip, right? Off the rip. Boost. Now is uh it's ninety three. Your rating go up. Let's say at least go up to you at least get your 98 overall. Maybe you won't get a 99, but you'll get 98. You know what I'm saying? You'll get a 98. So it go up two on top of that. So now you got 96.3. You got 96.3. So keep that in mind. Like when you're looking at this stat, it go they go up. My ball handling is going is going up. My passing is going up. So it's not even like damn that's where I met with it. No bill whack. No bill whack. It ain't for everybody. It ain't for everybody, Peasy. You know what I'm saying? Not for everybody. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not forcing this build on nobody. Like he said, it's whack. It's just not the build for you, bro. It's just not the build for you, and the people you play with, right? So you know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking you for having a small mind and not being a takeover type of player, not being like a a a game changing type of player. I don't blame you for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I can tell you ass just because that's common, bro. I can tell you ass, bro. Ain't as sociable as it used to be. A little mother's care about getting records too much now. 2K16, 17. Yeah, it was. I think it still is, bro. I think if you if if you were to play with somebody and y'all win and you say, hey, bro, 
Let me add you up. You add them up, bro, and you get right. If you ain't find your homies, then it's gonna be tough. Now I thought like you're right. Look for people this year to play with next year, <laughs> so you can kind of sort through. So I'm saying what build is for me. I've been I've been watching Brody. You been if you've been watching, the small forward. Hold on, if you've been watching, bro, and like I said, like I said, this is best for John Gotti. This is this is best for John Gotti, and what I do and what I realized was most important thing. There are a bunch of badges on here. And a lot of those badges you just don't need if you play Borg. You just don't need them. You know what I'm saying? It's make Mark notifying the stream first and then send me a friend request. So I think this is gonna be what I do next year. And I'm a I'm a I'm a max it out this year. Cause like I say, that seven two wingspan with, with the opening and closing of you know what I'm saying, closing out the floor and whatnot and contesting shots, bro, you're going to change a lot of shots with that, bro. So as soon as you lose, they point fingers, that's just how it go, bro. But if motherfuckers know your pedigree, if if you win a motherfucker 15 games, but you sell two or three, that's a positive average in my opinion. That's a positive average. If they know your pedigree, then it's a different story. But you got to build that, you got to build up that rapport. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to make, I'm going to, really, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to max this out. You about to max out another bill and grind? You different. I'm just bored. Keep grinding, re keep, keep grinding. Be pretty that PZ. If you could finesse, Heat Seeker plus posterizer on finishing is lit. See, I don't even play like that. I agree with that. I agree with what you're saying. If, if you, you can get like eight finishing badges and get like posterizer, then, you, then you're on a different level. But I don't play like that. Especially since you drive a good amount of time. Limitless tweak take week. Limitless take week. Better off with spot up twice. Man, I, I never get to get it. I never I never get to get it for real, TJ. So we just we gonna just gonna do this. And I'ma have four weeks. I'ma have four weeks. Michi with me. Y'all, y'all haven't heard of four weeks Michi. He's a prolific streamer, bro. He's coming to PS5. Make sure I go follow him up, man. Yeah, he definitely gonna be my number two. He definitely gonna be my number two next year. No, you do drive the ball when you run point. Yeah, I do. I do, right? But those drives shouldn't be contested. Like, they shouldn't be where I need contact dunks. Does that make sense? You in the park? Bet. Let me come sell. So that's what I got. That's what I got for y'all. This will definitely, and I'm going to post this. All right, so why have posterizer then? You ain't even a slasher. I, I wasn't going for posterizer. I was going for heat seeker. I was getting heat seeker. I never. Uh, that was never my aim. That just came with that. I'm back from a shower. I'm back from shower time. Nay, keep that thing smelling good for a real one. Nay, keep that thing smelling good for a real one. I just want to be a little back on this comment. Big pins on that. Uh. What up, bro? Hello? What up, bro? Yep, yep. Babe, 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 babe. Yeah. Right. Crazy. All right, all right, bad, bro. It's all good. I appreciate you, man. All right, boy. Shout out to P. Shout out to that boy P. Okay, now listen. Here goes. Here goes the. Here, all right, so now I'm jumping the park. We're gonna kind of see how this go. I mean, let me shut this video down, dude.